As Poland, we already spend more than 4% of GDP on armaments. What is worrying is the news that there may not be enough money, not only for the military programs themselves, but also for the Polish army's wages. What is going on in the Polish army? Today, I take a closer look at the situation. We receive the same information as probably everyone else, that somewhere in the Ministry of Finance there is information that defence spending will be cut. I actually had a meeting with the Minister of National Defence, Deputy Prime Minister Kosiniak Kamish. On the same day, we were together at the Centre for Doctrine and Training of the Polish Army, and I told him about this situation and said, Mr. Prime Minister, what do you think about this? Are you going to agree to this? He was surprised. He said that he had no information on this and that he would absolutely never agree to it. But there are many questions about funding specific military programs. We hear nothing about finalizing an agreement with South Korea on the production of K-2 tanks in Poland. We hear nothing about finalizing an agreement to acquire 500 HIMARS launchers for the Polish army from the United States. Finally, we hear nothing about finalizing a deal to acquire 96 Apache attack helicopters. And the most important question, will there be money for Shield East? According to the Ministry of Defense, 10 billion watt is to be allocated for the project, with the first half billion to be spent next year. Will it be co-financed by the European Union, as the government claims? No such decision was made at the recent summit. Today, there is no such decision, but we are working to make sure there is, and I am optimistic. I do not believe that the Eastern Shield project will ever be carried out at all. I believe it is just a propaganda and public image project. It is a project that is designed to give the current government a permanent argument to attack its predecessors for putting up an alleged, full of holes, and I quote here, fence on the border with Belarus. What is most alarming is that the morale of the Polish military may be falling even further as a result. Dominik Tarczynski posted the following message on social media. Message from military units. Voluntary basic military service not getting paid. After the emotions on news groups and forums, there is total disappointment and embarrassment. No one from the Ministry of Defence authorities explains the reasons for this situation. The Ministry of Defence responded in soldier-like terms. Dear Sir, we have checked. You are spreading false information. Please do not do this. However, the number of voices concerned about the state and finances of the Polish army has been growing alarmingly recently. Today, the dilemmas we face sometimes sound like this. Whether to take in more soldiers fast and delay purchases, or whether to maintain this pace and come to terms with the fact that after 2027, we may have a far greater decline in interest regarding military service. And this is a serious threat to the security of all of us. Edita Hordinska, TV Republica.